All right, welcome back to Crypto Front. This is the front line where we are fighting for financial freedom. So I woke up to a down portfolio and really I was just wondering what had happened overnight. Quickly realized that it was Israel which had retaliated against Iran and obviously people panicked because of that, naturally speaking. But really the question is what is going to be happening next year for the Jasmine price that are we in trouble because I see a lot of fear in the market right now. And most of it, to be honest with you, I don't understand it. I'll outline my reasons. Let's start here with this great news. And we see that BlackRock purchased its highest number of Bitcoins yet in a single day just yesterday, right? At the same time, we are seeing highest levels of fear in the market especially. So it's really something that is not usual, I will say this, because what we have seen in the past two cycles that I've been involved at least is that, I mean, like you are 10% away from the previous all-time high. This is usually a euphoric moment in the market. Everybody is, is excited and everybody is still anticipating the price to continue to push towards the downside. This time has been very different and really it's encouraging because usually the market is wrong-footed and you know when everybody is not expecting anything to happen this is when you will see btc having a very huge candle towards the upside we know that there is a potential of something like that happening because we have got a catalyst like the u.s election in a matter of days from now and we also have got the fed meeting i think in the same week so it really is going to be a crunch moment but of course you tuned into this video because you want us to know what the jasmine price that is doing so i've also seen a lot of people saying that look this is a head and shoulders pattern here of which you have got here the left shoulder the head and then the right shoulder so the rumor out there is that jasmine is going to be crashing towards maybe something like 4. Point, i mean 0 0.005 let me just go ahead and do you the measurement right so we are looking at the very top of the structure to the bottom here and we are looking to say you know if we break the neckline here then you're anticipating something like 0 0.0 zero seven i mean i forgot these numbers i used to like say them really really fast when we were down below here so the issue now is should i you know sell my jasmine anticipating something like a 65 percent drop to be honest with you i'm not going to be doing that the reasons are we haven't even broken the resistance just yet right so remember 1.4 cents is the last line in the sand but that hasn't happened just yet usually what we are going to see with this kind of head and shoulders patterns is that they break right then they have something like a back test here then again if we see that there is a lot of weakness in the market once we are revisiting this main resistance then probably that's like the time you are gonna be selling not like at the initial break remember what i just said right the market is usually wrong footed and before we continue let me show you a recent example of what i'm talking about you see this is immutable x uh recently i think this was right around june or something like that what you see here is exactly what i was talking about that you break this main support and then you have a back test then you go ahead to reach your price target so for now I'm not worried about just with that much so i started on a negative note but let me show you what i'm really seeing like when i take a look at the jasmine price like with my own independent analysis yes i realize and recognize the potential head and shoulders pattern right there but i also have got my different ideas and i'm looking at this jasmine price set on the left side and then i'm also taking a look at this bitcoin price that back then in 2015 on the right side i've gone on to try to highlight some similarities here and i'm very sure that you can see for example this peak right there and then you see this extreme right at the bottom you're also seeing pretty much the same thing here for the bitcoin price as well then of course we have got these two peaks that you are seeing here which also is the same thing that you see here for the bitcoin price so i hope like the similarities are very much clear here what the structures are telling us was it has always been possible for jasmine to go ahead and at least we test something like 1.6 cents or something like that i talked about this in a video i made two weeks ago i think and i said something crazy is going to be happening with the jasmine price set in a few days and it's going to be crazy that is going to take everybody by surprise but unfortunately people interpreted the video as if i was saying that jasmine will go to 54 cents in a few days when i was actually talking about the crash happening then we recover continue our way to something like 54 cents i actually encourage you to go ahead and watch that video i'll pin it somewhere there so that you can easily find it and watch try to understand what i was saying back then so the situation hasn't changed just yet it's just that for now we have had the second extreme that we were already anticipating which course response to this one here on the bitcoin price set. what you're going to see of course is that each and every single exchange and chart are going to be looking very much different also if you remember i came out after that other video that i'm talking about and i said you know what i think my worries of jasmine falling further down are gone the reason was i was looking at the like chart from the kraken exchange now what you see with the kraken exchange is it had already done this extreme that you can see here so this is what i was basing on but apparently it was a fake out and i even mentioned in those videos that look this is very interesting that i'm only seeing this one on one exchange but the other ones i'm not seeing the same thing so if you didn't understand anything that i said right now the bottom line that i'm trying to get to is that there is still a chance 
but this was just the last extreme here before Jasmine continues pushing towards the upside. I know I'm sounding like a moon boy or something like that, but should I come here and tell you that I expect Jasmine to crash when I don't believe it? Definitely not. So still, I'm holding to this and I still expect Jasmine to continue pushing towards the upside, even going exceeding 4.5 cents. Am I going to be wrong about this? It's possible. My record is not 100% obviously and there is nobody who has a 100% record. Now let's move on to something a little bit positive and this is the Jasmine price set versus the Velo price set. We have been using this structure from the very bottom of the bear cycle and thanks to this chart we are still up at least 500% from the bottom of the Jasmine price set. So that's the beauty of getting into Jasmine a little bit earlier on and I know maybe somebody just bought Jasmine a few months ago or something like that. They feel like trash party at this point. But guys, I mean, five months later, everybody's going to be calling you lucky because you got into Jasmine. But of course, that's my belief and I'm still very much confident with what the Jasmine price that is going to do. I will also acknowledge 100% if the scenario of the, you know, head and shoulders pattern plays out, we break support, we have a retest and we get rejected one more time then. I'm going to be like, you know what? This is real, right? The horror show has begun and probably it's time to be selling Jasmine with a slight profit that we would have had at that point. So it is what it is. But getting back to the positive stuff one more time. Oh my God, I'm running my mouth so much today. I'm still anticipating Jasmine to follow the trajectory just as much faith as we had at the very beginning. That's still what I carry today. And I'm still anticipating a peak of something like 54 cents relative to what this structure was doing here. We did that with the Fibonacci retracement tools and stuff like that. So that's the expectation. Does it mean that you should wait and only sell when the price gets to 54 cents? Definitely not. That's a crazy idea altogether, right? I don't know everybody's target. Maybe some people are targeting 8 cents. Some people are targeting 20 cents. Some people 30 cents. Now, on a different setup altogether, we see Jasmine here forming, you know, a cup and handle formation. To be honest with you, this is not completed yet. We are still at the bottom of the cup here. I mean, the bottom of the handle. But the technical price target here, you are going to be measuring from the depth of the cup, right? And then you anticipate at the point of break here of the neckline, expecting Jasmine to reach a bound. Maybe Maybe 70 cents, 69 cents, that about. Still, that's in line with my 54 cents price target, and also in line with like the best case scenario that I have here, which is something a dollar 20 or something like that. So, this is still positive news on Jasmine. We are not yet effed because we are not breaking below the resistance. Let me just reiterate that one more time. As long as we are holding this support level here, it has always been the case that we hold 1.4 cents. We are still very much great right let me take another different approach what we are seeing here is that we can have an elo to have come from the very bottom of the structure here of jasmine back in 2022 and you can see here we can say this is wave one this is wave two we can say this is wave three we can say this whole thing that has been scary is wave four and we are still anticipating another wave towards the upside here you can still see that even in this scenario you need to be holding this support level again and again so this is where we are here with the jasmine price that i hope everything is very much understood again it's a make or break moment i try to show you both sides of the case here but let me just go back to the head and shoulders pattern one more time and i wanted to mention here that one of the things that is very important when it comes to those things is the volume profile so what we are seeing here is that you know the volume that was sold yesterday has already been like beaten double than the amount of jasmine that has been bought today alone so that's something that is very much positive but again in the context of the price breaking towards the downside what you want to see to have like much more confident that this is gonna be a major crash here for jasmine is if we have a big volume spike right there so be on the outlook for something like that to happen then maybe they can be much more confident to say that jasmine is very bearish at this point right at this point we haven't seen as much volume just yet on all exchanges by the way not only on one exchange you know what i talked a lot today but i hope that you understand like the kind of moment that we are in at this point right now let me just say this i want to kindly ask you to help me support this video just by delicately tapping the like button it really helps the youtube algorithm and people looking for updates like these ones will not be able to find this video much more easily if you're new to the channel please subscribe and then finally let me invite you to this campaign that our partners over there at being x are launching you can go ahead register with them and claim up to five thousand four hundred fifty dollars and then on top of the 300 ton tokens right they also have got this challenge in which according to what you are depositing they will be giving you vouchers and uh, trial funds that you're trading and then you know what you can get the profits out of there so i mean cool stuff all together right so just remember none of what i say is financial advice and you shouldn't be buying or selling anything because of anything i say all right but if you like the content don't forget to dedicate the tap the like button share the video with your friends and family i'll see you on the next one Bye bye